For this project, you're gonna need a magazine, tape, scissors, and Elmer's glue. Let's make recycled magazine bowls. You'll need colorful magazine sheets. The lighter weight, the better, so look for an inexpensive promotional magazine with lightweight colored sheets. You're going to rip out the sheets carefully and fold them right in half the long way. Fold your sheets in half the long way and cut them the long way. Notice which side of your paper is the prettiest. Put the pretty side down. Using a pencil on a diagonal, tightly roll the paper up. It may be a bit tricky to get used to taking the pencil out before it gets trapped inside the paper. One sec. Use a thin squiggle of glue to secure the paper together around the pencil. Now pinch that wet glue, really give it a tight pinch and wait a few seconds so the paper starts to hold. You're gonna see in these photographs that it really has been pinched for a few seconds to try to get it to stick. you may need a little piece of tape to hold them. There are a couple ways to flatten these strips out. Here are two ways. Start to twist this up. Keep twisting. If you're having a hard time twisting this up because it's so thick, you probably have very thick magazine pages. And like me in this part of the video, you're really wishing that you had gotten a very lightweight magazine. How do you know if it's a lightweight magazine? If it feels really cheap and flimsy and like it's going to rip really easily, then it's a cheap one. That's good. Now let's attach these sections. Put a little dab of glue on and you'll slide another one into it like it was a sleeve. Pinch really hard and keep attaching these until you have a really, really long rope. I use a little piece of tape that I'll take off later just to make sure it sticks. This is probably 20 or 30 sticks joined together and rolled up. Use a bit of tape to keep it from unrolling. You'll take this tape off later. Set it aside for a while and when you're certain the glue has dried, you can tighten your spiral up carefully. Now you're going to slowly create the shape of a bowl. Take your time. I got in a hurry and all of my spirals sprang out and I had to re-twist it again. Once it's tight, use glue to attach that loose end really, really well. Once you have a bowl shape you like, you're gonna use glue to lock all of those twists together. And how you're gonna do it is by using a generous amount of glue and you can use your fingers or you can use a paintbrush or a toothbrush to get the glue into all of the cracks so that it holds everything together. Make sure not to leave any drips behind because they'll dry and be distracting. You want to do a nice, neat and tidy job of distributing the glue over the entire surface and in all of the cracks. Here I used glue mixed with water and a paintbrush to get into all the cracks. You can use fingers, sponge, toothbrush, whatever you have. Once it's dry, you'll have a really cool magazine bowl. To make a lid, you'll just make another bowl, but it'll be a little bit bigger than your first one, so it'll fit right over it. Think about making a cool handle for it. 
And there are many other ways to adapt this craft to make different forms as well. It's all limited to your own creativity. Let's make a lid. Take the bowl you just made, flip it upside down on a piece of paper and trace around it. This is the size of your bowl. Now the lid is gonna have a lip that locks down over the bowl. So the lid needs to be bigger than the bowl by about two or three layers of twisted paper. So once you have this drawing, you will start to create another disc, just like the first one you made, except it needs to be bigger than that circle on the piece of paper by about maybe two or three uh, of your twisted strands. This is my new disc that's gonna be a lid. You can see it's a little bit bigger than the circle I drew. Take your time and give your lid an interesting form. It can take lots of different forms. This is my bowl, it's upside down. I'm showing you how it is nesting inside of the lid. See how the lid comes up like a lip around the bowl? You want that. Once you have the lid the way you want it, you will apply glue just exactly like you did on the bowl and let it dry. Make sure when it's drying, it is separate from the bowl because it would be a shame if the glue dried them both together. And then you'll have a really cool, original, artistic bowl and lid.